What if an AI diagnosing your cancer also made assumptions about who you are? That is the unsettling question raised by new research from Harvard Medical School, which shows that artificial intelligence systems trained to read pathology slides can pick up signals linked to a patient's age, sex, and race, even though these details are not supposed to be visible in a tissue sample and that hidden information may be influencing how accurately the AI makes its diagnosis. Hello and welcome to The Print. I am Soumya Pillai with another episode of Pure Science. Now we all know that artificial intelligence is increasingly being trusted with one of medicine's most critical tasks, helping doctors diagnose cancer. Most AI models in healthcare today can analyze pathology slides to assess whether cancer is present and what type it is. AI systems are often praised as powerful pattern detectors capable of spotting subtle visual cues across thousands of images, promising faster diagnosis and more consistent care. But this same ability to see patterns humans cannot may also be what creates the problem. In this study, researchers tested four widely used deep learning models that had been trained to classify cancers using digital pathology images from a large data set covering 20 different cancer types. And when they examined how well these models performed across different demographic groups, they found clear and consistent differences in accuracy. Some models were less reliable at identifying certain lung cancer subtypes in male patients and in African-American patients, while others showed weaker performance for specific breast cancer subtypes in younger individuals. And these gaps were not random or occasional. What makes this especially striking is that human pathologists cannot look at a tissue slide and determine a patient's race or age. Yet, the AI appeared to be extracting this information indirectly and using it as part of its decision-making process. Now, the reason for this lies in how deep learning systems are trained. They are not taught medical reasoning the way doctors are. Instead, they are rewarded for finding any statistical pattern that improves accuracy. So if a disease is more common in certain groups or if tissue samples for those groups share subtle molecular or structural features, the AI can start using those signals as shortcuts, even when they have little to do with the disease itself and no real medical meaning. The researchers demonstrated that these models could predict demographic characteristics from pathology images at better than chance levels, confirming that the information related to identity is embedded in the data in ways humans cannot easily perceive. This becomes a serious issue in healthcare because uneven performance in medical AI can translate directly into unequal care, where some patients face higher risks of delayed diagnosis, misclassification or inappropriate treatment simply because the model works better for others. To put it simply, this becomes a problem because in medicine, accuracy has to be reliable for everyone, not just on average. When an AI system quietly uses demographic linked signals to make decisions, it can perform better for some groups and worse for others without anyone realizing it. That means two patients with the same disease could receive different levels of diagnostic accuracy simply because of how the model was trained. Since these systems often operate as black boxes, such biases can go unnoticed, scale across thousands of cases and reinforce existing healthcare inequalities, potentially leading to delayed diagnosis or inappropriate treatment for already underrepresented groups. To understand where this bias comes from, researchers analyzed several contributing factors, including uneven training data that overrepresents some populations and underrepresents others, as well as real biological differences in how cancer develops and appear across groups. All of this can be amplified when AI systems are trained without safeguards for fairness. Now, it is important to note that the study does not argue that AI should be abandoned in pathology. Instead, 
it shows that bias is a design problem that can be addressed. And the researchers introduced a new training approach called Fair Path, specifically aimed at reducing demographic bias while preserving diagnostic accuracy. Fair Path uses a machine learning technique known as contrastive learning, which teaches the model to focus on features that truly distinguish cancer types while discouraging reliance on signals that correlate with age, sex or race, but are irrelevant to diagnosis. When the researchers applied fair path to the pathology models, disparities in diagnostic performance across demographic groups dropped by about 88% without sacrificing overall accuracy, showing that fairness and performance do not have to come at each other's expense. This matters as AI tool moves from research labs into real hospitals because judging these systems only by average accuracy can be dangerously misleading if that accuracy hides large gaps between groups. The study sends a clear message that medical AI must be evaluated not just for how smart it is, but for whom it works reliably, and that fairness has to be built in from the start rather than added later. The researchers now plan to test their approach in real-world clinical settings, including environments with limited or messy data, but that is where the tool will ultimately be used. As artificial intelligence becomes more deeply embedded in healthcare, this research highlights a crucial reality that machines may see more than we expect, and unless we guide what they learn, they can quietly reproduce existing inequalities. It also raises another important concern, privacy. Even though pathology slides are stripped of obvious identifiers like name or addresses, this research shows that AI can still extract information linked to a patient's identity from the images themselves. That raises privacy concerns because data that was assumed to be anonymous may no longer be fully anonymous once powerful AI systems analyze it. While the study focuses mainly on fairness and accuracy, it also highlights the need to rethink data privacy and safeguards under medical AI, because protecting patient identity is not just about removing labels, but about understanding what the technology itself can infer. That was all from me this week. I'm Soumya Pillai and you were watching Pure Science.